welcome back to Cooking with Sip. Now tonight we're doing something with a new brand new knife. Now when you get a brand new knife, first thing you gotta do is you gotta wash that sucker. Wash it real good because you know what? These knives have gone through all sorts of uh, stuff, machinery, and they're covered with all sorts of stuff. You don't want your food so you gotta make sure you clean your knife. Brand new knife, clean it good. Clean it real good. <laughs> We seem to have the right consistency. I've been testing it out and got into the oil and all that. But what we're going to do now is add pepper. How much pepper? Uh, I don't know. A lot of pepper. Enough pepper for you to say, oh, that's plenty of pepper. And then we're going to put some uh, salt in there. Oh, we got to salt it. Yeah, so we're going to dig into the pantry here. We're going to bring out some salt. And let's see, a good amount of salt is, as you can see, it's really humid here. One. Two. Two, um, what is called the natural teaspoon. Natural teaspoon is your palm in your hand. You fill up that little area there. See that little area there? You fill that up, and there you go. Yeah, just mix that in there. That gives it a little bit more flavor and a little something because, well, basically, it's got to be flavorless unless you put a little flavor in it, if you know what I mean. If you don't put no flavor in it, it's not going to, it's going to taste like uh, egg, beer, and flour which is known as bueno. So we want a little bit of beer and that flour. And then what I've got over there going on right now is a little bit of onion rings. Onion rings just to make sure everything's good. Best thing is onions are cheap. You can take an onion, you can take a couple of rings off, dip it in your stuff, stick it in the oil, and that way you can check to make sure everything's cool. Welcome back. Now what we got going on is I tested this and I put a couple of onion rings in the fryer oil and the fryer oil was, it's okay. And what you need is, here we go, hang on, we're going to go for a trip now. Whoa, whoa, okay, now what we got going on here is you'll see a pan with oil. And what you'll also see is a thermometer in the oil. Thermometer is going to tell us how hot the oil is. What we want is 350 degrees. Anything past 350 degrees is way too hot. Now, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't see this. But the fact of the matter is, the thermometer is up there at 400 degrees. Anything past 400 degrees, we're going to burn our oil. So, we're going to let it cool off a little bit. But, we're going to come back, whoa, hang on, whoa, Sav, you're making me dizzy, okay, right back to the kitchen prep area, all right, all right, <laughs> yeah, all righty, now, back to the kitchen prep area, oh, oh, well, you, you, you got a bad, bad view there, here we go, uh, back it up a little bit, mm -hmm. back it up a little bit more, yeah, this is what you get when you're, you, you're your own camera person. Now, I found out that my onion rings were a little on the bleh side. So what I did was I added some more salt and some more pepper. But you can actually kind of see the pepper in here, which is good. It did have that beer taste, though, so that was good. I'm going to take my new knife... Like I said, I washed it. And I'm going to cut this bologna sandwich in quarters. And we got our quarters. Mmm, now we got it. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. How are we supposed to put it in the... Mm, toothpicks. Toothpicks will hold it together. So, put the toothpicks in at an angle. That way, it actually holds everything together. If you put it in straight down, eh, it's not going to work too good. You're going to go straight in, not straight in, but at an angle. At an angle, it holds everything together, and it actually keeps everything kind of uniform. 
Now that we got everything kind of uniform, uh, we're going to check on the oil. So hang on and we'll go check on the oil. Okay, we're back. The oil is roughly a little over 375 degrees. 350 is perfect. 375 is optimum. Anything over in that, you're going to pretty much burn your oil. So just try to make sure that you keep your oil roughly around 375 degrees, 350, good, 375, perfect, 400, and you're going to start to burn your oil. You don't want to do that. So, back to our sandwich. Oh, wait, back to the beer. A little bit for the cook. <sighs> That's good. All right. Now, as you can see, it sticks to the fork really good. So we're going to pull that fork out. And set it on our cutting board. We're going to drop our first sandwich in there. As you can see, toothpicks going through the middle. Holds it together. And dip it in. And dip the other side. This is the part of where being a cook gets to be a little messy. So, now that we got that going, we're going to dip it around. And then, uh, we pull it back out. And you see how that is stuck to the sandwich really good? That's going to be perfect. So now, what I'm going to do, excuse my burp. <laughs> good beer. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swing around to the oil. And we're going to watch this stuff fry. Fry, baby, fry. <laughs> oh, did I just snort? Yeah, I guess I did. Anyway, here we go. Whoa! Hang on! Whoa! Da -da -da. And down to the stove, and here we go. So, we've got our sandwiches, and we've got them dipped in the beer batter. Beer batter dipped sandwiches! So we turn them over here a little bit, and then uh, you can grab it by the... Oh, no, you can't do that. You gotta grab the whole, um, whole thing like this. There we go. And slip off the extras, excess and drop it in. There we go. That's one. We're gonna do two. Tip, do, and around, and here we go. And then, easiest way to grab hold of these suckers is grab it from the toothpick on both sides of the toothpick. And uh, slip off the excess and drop it in. Alright, now because we're using a small bowl, what we're going to do is I'm going to wash my hands off real quick. Yeah. Then we're going to use a fork uh, to gently roll our sandwiches around. There we go, that one's over. And then roll this one over, there we go. As you can see, it's starting... The breading is starting to breaden up, it's starting to brown up. So we're going to keep that going. Keep those there. Our temperature is just under 400, so it's a little too hot. But we're going to pull this out so we have more room. Now, because that's glass, you don't want to set it in cold water. And that's going to break the glass, obviously. So, we're going to take another one. And roll it around in the beer batter. Get it all nice and coated. Grab it by a toothpick, slide off the excess, and in the oil it goes. Now it's, it, it, you're going to end up with one hand is covered in beer batter. You just kind of keep that, you know, near the beer batter. Flip your sandwiches over, the ones that are almost done. Now, you'll probably notice, hang on, i got to clean my hands so I can adjust the camera. Okay, now, let's see, what do we got going on here? Let's back it up a little bit. 
There we go. Now you can see I have the oil. The oil is at 400. I turned down the temperature and got it just about perfect. Just roll your sandwiches around. Um, browning on top, not browning, you know, on the bottom. So this one is almost brown. This one's almost done. This one's almost done. Now over here, I have napkins. 